Welcome to MCOM Solutions, Jake here. Do you own one of these original T-Decks, the T-Deck ones, and thought about maybe just getting rid of it? <laughs> I know I did. So back in either late 2022, early 2023, I purchased my first one. Then I purchased a second one with the idea that I would these would be a great Mastastic radio, something I could use, something I could hand to a family or friend uh, that doesn't have to have the application installed and we could communicate um, but I was very disappointed and in fact I even considered like giving them away or selling them because I felt like it was a waste and the second one I have is still sitting in a box now though with Mestastic's newest UI release the 2.6 and above which you can get on their web flasher now under the alpha versions of their firmware um, that's changed my opinion overall so in addition I added when I was home in January this year 2025 I printed out Alley Cat's uh, the T-Deck 1 or TD1 case which this is the slim front and standard back which allows for a 5,000 milliamp hour battery back here and with the UI installed in a more slim usable case it's changed this radio overall for me. So I do have the ZBM2 Industries uh, whip antenna on here. This is the 868 megahertz one because I'm in Europe. However, uh, I probably won't keep this one on here. I just got it, just kind of testing it out uh, because I want something more low profile for this to keep the footprint of it smaller. So if you check out, I'll put a link below for Alley Cat's printable page. There's couple different versions some you can put even larger batteries a couple different variants a plug so you can plug the whole antenna hole at the top if you want to use the the uh, pcb style printed antenna and keep it on the inside so it's more like the t-deck pro keeping the profile even smaller but probably you know dramatically reducing your range there's lots of options here i highly recommend you can even add a bail fang or generic style bail fang uh, belt clip to the back a couple other options that's all over there if you just check that link out that'll be down below so let's take a look at the overall interface with it I think you're gonna see additional improvements but it's made this radio so much more usable and an actual useful radio that now I actually feel like it's a, a good addition to my mesh radio kit so let's check it out all right, some of the cool features now with the Mestastic UI for the T-Deck. See, here's the home page. It tells you how many nodes you got online, if you got any new messages, time, what frequencies you're set on, what your SNR, uh, signal to noise ratio and your RSSI. All that stuff is available right there on the home screen. You can use the, the trackball or you can use the touch feature. You go here to that, it looks kind of like a Wi-Fi router. It's going to show you the list of nodes that are up and then of course all the ones you've ever seen um, and then note if you see that red around that that's the indication that they're running uh, something prior to the 2.5 Mestastic firmware update you could go into your channels set up different channels of course default long fast and then the messaging feature you can do the direct messaging, the long fast messaging, um, all that stuff in here. And then you can sideload maps. I have not done that yet. You have to use the SD card to do that. There's a video on that. Let's see if you can see how well you can. There we go. See that a little better. Um, and then, of course, features. There's kind of some fun stuff in here. Um, you go over, tap tools and you can uh, mesh detector start and it'll go through that looking for other um, nodes we'll start with that we're going to select go back to tools we're going to go into tools and we'll do signal scanner select the one we're going to select this one We'll start. It's 
And there's the, gives you your signal to noise ratio and what you're currently seeing with that device. So I think it's pretty cool features. Uh, after I sideload the maps, I'll, I'll link a video down below. Uh, the comms channel did the process. I'm gonna use his process to uh, sideload the maps so that I have maps in there. But all right, so to wrap up here with a good case and the UI firmware, these are now very usable and enjoyable MeshTastic radios to use. I know now that I have this all figured out, I'm gonna print a case when I'm back home again for my other one and get it up and running. I hope you found this useful. If you did, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, check out our all of our links below, Alley Cat's links, the link for our website, social media, you can follow us all there. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more emergency communication solution videos.